In this video, I want to talk about crosstab reports um, or pivot table type reports or cube type reports um, or a way to have dynamic columns um, or row names in BERT. So here's a BERT report. Uh, the data source is the standard AdventureWorks um, data source. And so now let's create a data set. And we're just going to use our AdventureWorks data source. I'm going to call this cells data. And then I'm going to put in the query that I've um, already written in SQL. And I've gone over in other videos how to create this query. And basically, it's just um, the country, state, um, name, amounts, uh, order date. And I put the uh, month number on here with the SQL function. And then I also put the month name and the year. So I'm going to finish this, I'll click OK. And so now this gives us the cells data set. Now let's create a cube based upon that data set. We're going to click on new data cube. We're going to give it a name. And I'm just going to call it cells data cube. And it's using the cells data set. And then um, now I'm going to create some groups and summaries or other otherwise known as dimensions and measures. And so dimensions are going to think of that as your column names or maybe your rows. And then your summary, think of that as like the data area um, of the like numbers that you're going to summarize. So let's so we know we want to have our country. And we want to create our month. I'm going to call this month name. Okay, so notice how we're creating um, different dimensions for each of these, the country, the month name. And then now we want to subtotal it for a measure or a summary. Okay, um, that gives us uh, a cube to get started with. And so now let's put a cross tab on our report. And we're going to drag in our um, um, cube information. I'm going to put the country over here in the row area. And then I'm going to put my month name, the column area. And then I'm going to put my measure or my summary um, in the data area. So let's preview this. Um, so now you can see how it, it took the month name and it dynamically created the columns for that. So um, you may have like, it could be categories, it could be um, whatever you want it to be and it, it will dynamically create the column names for you. So there could be, you never know, I mean you could have five columns, you could have ten columns, um, whatever, but you don't, you want to have it, um, that's the beauty of this is it, it um, dynamically creates those column names for you. Um, let's get rid of that subtotal label. Um, so now that's just name, month name. Okay, so now another thing that we're going to want to do here is notice how um, this isn't in order because it's thinking of it as a string. So we want to um, we want to put our month number in there. So we need to come back in here. We're going to edit our our um, cube, and I'm going to create the month number. Okay, and then now let's put our month number in the data set in the cross tab. And so let's preview that. Now you can see that because we made our month number first, it's automatically ordering by that. But we don't really, we're not interested in actually seeing a number. So we can just delete, delete the label. Preview that again. 
and now we have our country um, with our cells data by month in our crosstab report here in BERT. 